clipboards? Huh. Six clipboards in total. Let's see. There are lists of the personal belongings each dead person had on them. But there are no names. There's 394 written on the first one. I guess the numbers on the lists here relate to the numbers on the boxes. Okay. That means if I can work out which of these lists belong to Fuller, then I know which box his stuff is in. Alright, I'm assuming that this foot here is Fuller. Yeah. So read the, the tag on his foot. Ugh, not a pretty sight. Fuller's body's peppered with stab wounds. Well, he said that was the case. Him. I won't find any clues here. No, read the tag on his I'd foot. I'd rather not do that. Whoever it was, he must have been out of his mind. Can you read the tag on his foot, man? <sighs> I'd rather not. <sighs> I'd rather not do. Why are you being so stubborn? Okay, fine. Let's try hers. Either they assume that Biddeford's population will reach 50,000, or the number of cold drawers is quite over the top. Half the town would have to have a collective heart attack. Okay, that's it. How am I supposed to get him to read the number on the fight? <sighs> Being so stubborn, man. Okay, fine. Uh, alright, then let's look number at- Number 394. Hairbrush? Lipstick, okay, that's car not Fuller. Keys, mirror. That's hardly gonna be the contents of Fuller's pockets. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't seem the type. Number 412. Wallet, keys, Polaroid photo. That could be Fuller. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. A wedding ring. Huh? Fuller was never married, so it's not 412. Okay, this Number one? Number 433. Credit cards, earrings, anklet. Mm, no, not Fuller's. Okay, let's try this Number one. Number 399. Knife, torch, ski mask, skeleton keys, small change, plastic bag. Unless Fuller was about to set off on a secret thieving trip when he was murdered, then that's not his. <laughs> hey, you never know. Um, okay, let's try this Number one. Number 442. Driver's license, photos, small change, a pacifier, baby powder, definitely not fuller. Okay, then this one. Number 448. Wallet, driver's license, credit card, keys, bills. I wouldn't rule that out as being fuller's, but I'm not certain. Well, you ruled out all the other ones, so it has to be that Boxes. one. They oh, wait, shoot. Airtight. What number was that? There's a number stuck to every box. I think the personal effects of the dead people are stored in them. Okay, hold on. What was this number? Number 448. Okay, blah, blah. What, what? Fuller's box is number 448. But where is it? I don't know. You tell me. I can't see That's the numbers. That's Fuller's box. <laughs> okay. Can you... Take it. Fuller's keys. Those could be useful. Hey, and here's his wallet. Driver's license, a few dollars, credit card, a few bills. But no secret numbers or anything like that. I think I'll take the keys. The wallet and the rest of that stuff is of no use to me. Okay. There's nothing more of interest in it. Okay, can you cover it back up? Thank you. I wonder why there's so many boxes here. This many people can't have died in the past few months. Or how long do they store I was wondering all the junk that too. Here? That seems like if he's if he says there's so few people in this town, that seems like a lot of deaths. <laughs> all right, we done here? I think so. Unless there's something more with this. A metal buyer. It's nope, probably he's still doing the same garbage. Okay. Um. Then let's... wait. What if we syringe Fuller's corpse? No? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what for. Alright, let's go. Alright. Um, 
So we have Fuller's keys and a syringe for some mysterious reason. God, this is the weirdest assortment of stuff. <laughs> Let's check on mom as long as we're here. Anything new? Uh, monitor? The monitor shows my mother's vital signs. Pulse, breathing, etc. No idea if the values are positive. Scales? I'd better leave the scales here. What would I do with scales? Obviously something at some point. Uh, okay. Can't talk to her at all. Well, okay. Looks like that's it. Can I talk to this? I don't mean to disturb you. What? I don't mean to disturb you. Okay, so I guess we're not talking to security guy. How about her? Anything new? I don't want to stop her from okay. doing a job right now. Oh, I guess not. Then let's head back to Fuller's, I guess? What should we do with these keys? Oh, you can go to the hospital? That's the hospital. Well spotted, sir. Bravo. Okay. Let's go to Fuller's. Assuming I've used this door for the last time. If I want to get into the shop, I can go through the basement. Okay, that's what I figured. The cops could have at least brought the sign back in with them. You said that last time. All right, then let's go to the backyard. We still need to figure out what this code is. What is this? Metal bar? No, let's not take that back. I hope he says he's gonna leave it there. I'll take the bar with me. Perhaps I can use it a second time. Oh, unless... Okay, good. Excellent. Alrighty, so we added the metal bar back to my weird collection of stuff. Hop in there. Let's see what we can find. Alright. Floorboards? What's this about floorboards again? When you stand here, it feels like... Like, like what? Something like when you, when you see in the dock and he has you stand on a set of mechanical weighing scales. Everything slides slightly back and forth. The floor gives a little as you stand on it. Could it really be a set of scales? Hmm. Would that fit in with a secret door? Aha! I knew it. Well, I can't see anything. <laughs> Interesting. If it really is a kind of scale, then it could measure Fuller's weight while he tapped in the secret number into this pad. And the door would only open when the two matched. What the heck, Pretty Fuller? Well thought through for sure. For me, there's the problem that I have no idea how heavy Fuller is. I've got to find that out if I want to make progress here. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> it really is a kind of scale. Pretty well thought. Okay, got to find blah. that out. If I'm... Okay, well, let's. As long as we're here, let's take a look around. We can probably go back to the morgue and Morgan read his clipboard. They should have recorded his weight there. Alright, anything new? What's this light box again? It works. Excellent. I'm, I'm glad you confirmed that fact. For what reason, I'm not sure why, but... Okay, basement. Let's try back room. That was where the safe was, I think. Uh, is there anything I can still do here? 
Where's the cuckoo clock? Wasn't there a keyhole in this? No, a hexagonal hole. Mm. I think I'll leave the cuckoo clock. Blah, blah. Nothing stands out. Perhaps this little angular hole on the clock face... Is that how you wind it up? Maybe. Guess we'll find out later. Um... Okay, well, uh... Hmm. Anything else in the dark room? If not, then I guess Nope, there's nothing here. <clears throat> I guess we'll head back to the hospital and see if we can poke around in the morgue somewhere. Uh here. Hospital? We need Puller's weight. And I also need to figure out what his secret code is. One thing at a time. Hopefully, I can just go in here. Is he gonna bug hey! me again? I've forgotten something else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um. How am I gonna. Measures. Wait. I'd rather not do that. Whoever okay. it was. Okay. Yeah. Blah. How am I gonna measure his weight? <clears throat> There's a buyer, just like the one out in the hall. I can't check the clipboards anymore, so it won't be that. But I feel like it should be recorded somewhere. Can I really not look at the tag on his foot? Okay, fine. At least there's a scale in here that we can use to test weight. But first I have to figure out what the weight we want is. <laughs> How do I get that information? Got Fuller's keys, and I have no idea where to use them. <laughs> okay, um, I wonder if I can talk to the doctor some more. Maybe I can get some hints from him. Do -do 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 -do. Darren, hurry up. No, he's still hiding in the back. Or is he just... he's gone. Where'd he go? I don't want to bother her. Okay, well. <sighs> okay, then let's go on a... Let's go on a tour of the city. Where should we go next? Let's try... Um... Let's try Rosie's store. Oh, look, there's the photo fit. Uh, <laughs> Rosie knows everything else about the town. Maybe she knows how much Fuller weighed. <laughs> um, hey, I Rosie. I can't think of anything I okay, can talk I to not. Rosie about. I guess not. Let's try... What was this one again? that mom's house, right. Hmm. Telescope. Little cupboard. What's the telescope for? A nice one. Quite classical. And it looks quite expensive for mom's taste. You can swivel the telescope on the tripod. And hey, there's a compass attached to the top to show the direction you're looking. Okay. A nice one. Okay, fine. Anything else in the cupboard? 
Oh, just the phone. I don't have to call right now. Okay. Um. Headphones? Mom's into music. That's one thing we have in common. Though our tastes are a little diverse. Mom's Beethoven doesn't mix that well with Nirvana or Pearl Jam. That's nice. Can I do anything with the headphones? Mom's into music. Yeah, yeah, you said that already. Hmm. What am I supposed to do? How am I gonna get Fuller's weight? If he won't look at the clipboards in there and stuff. Maybe the police station? Try asking around in here, maybe. Um, Captain Conley. They look so bored. Oh no, this is horrible. What would you say if I showed you a blackmail letter from Fuller? I would say that despite my warnings, you haven't kept your nose out of this business. And if I found the letter in a public trash can? Then I'd ask you if you had any evidence that the letter's from Fuller. A letter in a trash can can be from anyone. And the fact that you, of all people, found it doesn't really speak for its authenticity. Alright then. So I haven't found a blackmail letter. I've got to get into this secret room. There'll be evidence that Fuller blackmailed Mrs. Biber in there. I know we have to get in there, but I don't know how. I don't feel any need to talk to the guy. I uh, don't blame you. Anything more from her, maybe? Photo fit? How's the investigation going with our photo fit friend? Nothing. Not a thing. Our people have asked all over town. A few people vaguely think they may have seen somebody. But he's not been staying in any of the hotels, and nobody's seen him since yesterday evening. Don't you find that suspicious? Maybe he's a tourist. His wife could have stayed in the RV with the kids while he went out to get the evening meal. And then they all left yesterday evening. Are you trying to wind me up? The, the guy had been asking Fuller about me and Angelina. He was in the diner, and in the hotel. Have you perhaps considered that he found your girlfriend attractive? Maybe he'd seen her coming out of Fuller's photo studio and then asked him where she lived. Then, when he saw you coming out of her hotel room, he cleared off because he didn't want any trouble. Yeah, sure. And then Fuller committed suicide. Ah, <sighs> uh, your combative nature is gonna get you in trouble. I'm not thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, he couldn't have sounded any grumpier if he tried. Um, alright, let's try maybe... Go to Side Street. Is, is Eddie open? shop. Eddie, you there? Can you help me? <sighs> All right, the radio. Eddie? Um... What's with my slide projector? Don't worry. I've got it here. Is it broken? No, but old and battered as ever. What do you need the projector for anyway? You're blind. You just look after your own joke. <laughs> Excellent. We gave it back. Good. <laughs> Eddie's my favorite. Okay. What of it? Do you know this man? You want to play me for a sucker? Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Have you heard what happened to Fuller? Sure. The police was here. Wanted to know if I heard anything. Did you? I got ears like a lynx, but it was raining. When the rain falls on that tin roof out my window, I can't hear nothing else. That's fair. How about Angelina? The police have arrested an innocent woman. It happens. I'm gonna prove that she's innocent. Is she that pretty? <laughs> she's damn pretty. <laughs> but, but that's not why I'm doing it. Whatever. 
you would have helped a 60-year-old wrinkly biddy in just the same way. But it don't matter in the end. The strong gotta help the weak. It's your duty to get her out of there. Yeah. Will you help me? If I can. Yay! We have an ally. Excellent. Alright. Eddie's my favorite. What's this radio again? What do we need it for? If anything ever. I bet that's an original radio set from the Second World War. It definitely doesn't look much newer. Um. Anything else with the radio? I bet that's an original okay. radio. No, I guess not. 